Hello and welcome back to Front Mission 3 Reload. Last time we quote unquote rescued Lee from an attack uh, by imaginary numbers and we managed to pick up four of their machines which is uh, really nice. And now we're going to learn a bit more about Lee and I'm, I think we go back to meet up with uh, old you. Talk to Lee. Yeah, so heroes can tell us he's he used to be part of the Rapid Reaction Force, but he killed his family and and so he quit. Yeah, imaginary numbers, <clears throat> secret to everybody. It's very hard to kill. So if you've got Jose, Jose talks to him, uh, basically saying, oh, we've got the same backstory, and this is what we got to do, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, killed his wife and son in a mission. Yeah. So he's just traveling around. Uh, so I think what I'm going to need to do, at least to get through this, is I'm going to need to do an episode a day. Uh, my my wife and my two boys are currently in China, which is where we are at game. But they'll be coming back in June. So if I do, like, one every other day, I don't think I'm going to have enough, enough time to finish. And since my boys are both fairly young, four and one, at least they'll be when they come back, but uh, makes it a little tough to to do the videos. And it's not so bad. Like I, I do work late. No, we don't get home until after 11, 11 p.m. So I could do it later on, but it could be just a little bit difficult. So I want to at least make sure I get through this playthrough before they get back, just in case. So now Luke Avis is going to talk to Alsa. Basically, you tell her, hey, your sister is Emma, and she's on her way here. They're hiding out in uh, Shanghai, and we don't know it yet, but uh, that's kind of our end goal in China. In fact, there's really, there's really not much more left in China after, after things go down in Shanghai. Like, I think you go to, uh, like a, a ship graveyard. Oh, it's Serov. He's back. So we'll have to fight him and some shotgun guys. <laughs> Just crazy bug eyes. I'm crazy. I don't know why this guy is so worried. Like, the, the imaginary numbers and the rapid reaction force have been so brutal fighting the rebels and the civilian population that like Serov shooting a guy shooting a guy when he's down like okay <laughs> right that's nothing compared to what what's already been done so I don't see how anybody could get mad it's kind of an annoying map if there's lots of trees getting in everybody's way this machine is it's got like two two missile launchers those two cannons and then that machine gun stick it at the front there yeah what a jerk man I <laughs> spank his panties <laughs> yeah see for some reason these like different generation uh, imaginary numbers seem to know that Alyssa and Emma are also imaginary numbers like some kind of I uh, like sixth sense or whatever they can like tell who is and who isn't one but Emma and Alyssa don't have that like they, they can't I don't really know where they fit in the like, like they look kind of they look young so are they 
What we've got. We're not gonna get him. Thought he had. This is the four. And we're not gonna use him because I didn't set him up, and I don't. I don't want him. <laughs> so we'll go with. Go with Dennis. Dennis and Marcus. And then we'll go Yoon and Ryogo. And then I'll have to like think up a way to sub in Lee. And these are all whoop. these are all shotgun guys. Yeah, so I'm not sure how how it is that uh, oh I don't want him first. I don't know how it is that they don't realize like Emma and Alistair don't realize that these other people are imaginary numbers but all of the other imaginary numbers just know that they're part of it seems weird maybe they're like I'm like a, a, a different model <laughs> so to speak I don't know how else to put it yeah, shotgun shotgun zero let's just take a look at zero She's got 12 and grenades. Wow. Oh, he's only got one cannon. Not that he needed to, but. So he's got a machine gun, a missile, a cannon, a missile, and a grenade. Oh, geez. Yeah, he's just packing it all in. Wait, he doesn't have any battle skills, does he? With these guys. Rate of fire and topple shot, huh? Oh. Just that one? So this guy? Hmm. Okay. So this guy specifically has, has battle skills and nobody else does. Yeah. What I did after, uh... After the last mission is uh, because I was sick, sick and tired of running around with Kazuki and that awful low HP body. Is yes, I did some, <clears throat> I did like two simulator battles to try to like force him to learn uh, chaff. So he's got it finally. Which is good. Him, uh, Yoon, and Ryogo, actually. Because what. It's this guy? Yeah. Because what happened to. Uh, <laughs> what happened to Kazuki in the first battle, the first simulator battle, is uh, like three different enemies were shooting him with missiles. And uh, one of them made him eject, and then the other two killed him. So I put <laughs> I put Ryogo in his machine, and then the very next round he learned he learned chaff, and then Yoon learned it as well in that same battle. So I can finally get rid of that Drake body with its like non-existent HP. I've got. Uh, it's kind of risky on Marcus because he he's a melee guy, so he needs to move. But uh, he's got the Ming Tan legs, and those legs have the the blackout skill on them, which prevents the enemy from using their battle skills. And it is this guy, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use Marcus to fight him to trigger that blackout skill so that uh, so that he can learn it it's it's only it's only one AP and it uh, it it blocks her battle skills I think there's really no other way to put it oh I should have attacked with Dennis last because if I score an eject punch here, then um, there's no one to jump in the machine. 
Oh well. Janice can keep taking those missiles. Come on, blackout. Now I don't know if I don't know if they need to like activate a battle skill before blackout will go off. Or if blackout will go off first and Oh you bastard. And prevent it from like like I don't know which order it needs to be. I'll do this. Let Dennis... Let Dennis eat the re retaliation. Oh, I did it again. Oh, well. No eject punch, that's good. So, 286. Right, well, I can't kill him, but if I hit one of his arms, I could cripple him. Come on, left arm. Body. I'll shoot him with Kazuki, and then I'll put an end to it. It doesn't matter. No, no blackout. But again, I don't know. I don't know if he needs to trigger his skill first. I can't remember. Man, I'm gonna go through his shield durability really fast. Oh, you ass! Making me chase you. Well, I don't like that. Because, unfortunately, those legs are garbage. They've only got two move. And they don't have a lot of hit. Like, you can see, Marcus is getting shot to pieces here. And he's not going to be able to chase that guy. Leave Marcus alone. This guy's also shooting Marcus. I wonder... Maybe I'll just try to learn double shot instead. He's never going to be able to, like, dance around this pillar, right? Because his movement is two. So he can move like this. Like, two forward, and then kind of like one at an angle, right? It's like one, two, one, two. That's it. But because he's got boost, like such a good amount of boost, that's why he's able to get over there. I don't know if I want to get shot. She, I switched her... one of her arms so she could potentially learn shield attack. Shield attack 3. Which is nice. Yeah. We're... We're not going to equip it. I'm gonna shoot him and hope that I don't lose that arm, and then I can use it to his last shield your ability to block the missile next turn. And I'll just keep going for this to maybe get a stun or an eject. Or a huge amount of damage on his shield arm, I'll take that too. He's gonna cannon me? Well. Hopefully he misses or doesn't destroy my shield arm. Ah! That's not good. Oh, Ming Ten. Yeah, that's the, um, the random smash. <laughs> so he's got random smash. Ooh, nice, I'll take it. Oh wow, so they didn't fix 
or, or change Serov. He's like a, a pile of XP. Every other enemy we've we've come across who's been like that, they've changed so that they. Well, now I might as well use the shield because uh, he's gonna lose it here anyways. Spike. Yeah, so Serov is is going to be worth a huge amount of XP. Which is good. Is he still stunned? Oh, nice. Good, good, good. The only problem is is uh, he's going to have a ton of AP when he gets unstunned. Oh, you missed! He's not moving, Dennis! should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Spike him. Get rid of his gun. Fine, Kazuki. Kill him already. It's not really worth it. Maybe like this. Kill him or cripple him. Or hit him in the leg and do neither. Okay, good. I thought he might use the... Because he's got a grenade launcher, right? He could have grenade. Oh, he's finished. Really? Oh, yes. No damage. I wonder if he triggered topple shot if he still would have knocked me over. I think so, because he just... Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I think he still would have knocked me over, because he just has to hit me. It's not like... It's not doing damage. Just He just needs one of those things... Finally. One of those belts to hit him. So heals this this turn, I think. Oh, <laughs> don't don't give Marcus your missile. Like even Kazuki needs. Yeah, this whole turn is just a waste. Not really a waste, I mean, I'm keeping my people alive. Oh, I should have moved him so he couldn't get... Because if he hits my left arm, then... Okay, good. Then he's basically crippled, right? Maybe we can knock him over? Nope. Yeah, so this guy's... This guy's got to go next, because he's just going to keep wailing on Marcus, and Marcus can't take that damage. Really, none of them can can afford to take this. I'm so close. So close on Serov. Okay, random smash. Well, at least we'll get through the shield durability fast. Two turns wasted. I might kill him here if I hit him in the body and I get some good luck. Oh, stun punch. I'll take that. Would have preferred it in his body, but 
take what I can get. Good, no shield. Perfect, perfect. We'll see how much damage he takes here. Oh, maybe I should have fixed that arm. Oh, he might go nuts here. Nope, not yet. Come on, shield attack. <laughs> I'm really glad he's not using his uh, his grenades. Well, I guess I've got I've got three of my people all bunched up on top of each other. He doesn't have a restore, right? He had a repair. Kazuki has the restore. No. No, no, I'll do it like this. I didn't want to move him further away. Yeah, fix that. Now he can back up. Hopefully he'll start shooting. That's not super useful, but whatever. He could chain it. But he didn't. Maybe he'll start shooting missiles at Emma instead. Man, <laughs> has he taken a beating. Oh, he can still reach. Alright. Oh, don't hit my arm again, please. Oh, body. I <laughs> mean, it's not ideal. I would have preferred the leg. But I'll take it, I guess. Not that I have any choice in the matter. Can I get around? No, we'll use Marcus first. Maybe learn double shot, or double punch. Shoot him, I guess. I'm not gonna learn a skill on this because I don't have any I could learn. Now there's really no good way for her to get through here. Might have to smash all three of those fences. Or I take one turn. Two turns, three turns? It's the same difference, really. Or maybe I just refill her missiles for a change. But it's not worth it, he's almost dead. Nice. Finally. Oh, and it's the machine gun. Well, yeah, I've destroyed both of his arms, right? So... Come on, double punch. Should have paid more attention. Melee three? Alright, so it's gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> Did I miss? <laughs> oh, come on, Marcus. And Dennis? Here I'm saying, oh, I don't need to reload the missiles, it's not worth wasting the time on it. I better. Feels like a big waste. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna shoot with Kazuki first. To bait out the machine gun. He might go berserk here. Yeah, Rah, I won't lose. This is going crazy. Because he's defective. So what you could do is you could like focus. Yeah, he's lost his mind. You could focus on him. Oh, it fills it back to full. It's only supposed to be 500. Oh, you missed again? Come on, Dennis. Get your head in the game. Anyways. <laughs> At this point, he'll attack basically whatever. Right? Like, he won't... He won't, um... Separate friend from foe. But, uh... I don't find it's worth... Hmm. I don't find that it's really worth it. Right, because you saw those guys were... Like, they were pretty dangerous. And to just... Ah, oh, I thought that was going to happen. To just ignore them, so that Serov might shoot them instead of you? Like, really? It's not worth it in my eyes. Oh, I should have done him last. <sighs> I didn't really want to... Oh, I can go through him? Alright. I don't want to give Kazuki this ridiculous amount of XP that we're going to get for killing Serov. Oh, no, no. I want somebody else to get it. So, Marcus shouldn't die here. And he'll get the huge boost for killing him. I'm going to say like 900 XP. I don't know what it's going to be, but... There you go, 948. Done, he's dead. No more Serov. That's about half an hour. Bronze, yeah, I took a ton of damage. It took a lot of turns, too. And my weapon level is too high? Oh, I did get a lot of levels. Because he's like a XP pinata. Who shoots him here? Dennis, I think? Or he's like, ah, why, why, why? And then he falls, and you. I'm the ultimate. You try to talk to him and somebody just blasts him. Yeah, what is he talking about? He's trying to say something. Oh, it's one of the imaginary numbers, I think, shoots him. And then they, like, jump away. Yeah, they're up there. They snuck up on us. Jared. Yeah, guinea pigs. And then he just jumps away. Yeah, see, he's purple. Those other imaginary numbers we fought, I think the last guys were purple too. The first ones we fought were, were black, but he's purple. Bye bye! Whee! <laughs> he just jumps away. <laughs> They got us. Wah, wah. So much for our lead. So we'll we'll hang out with uh with the rebels for a little bit more, and then we'll learn that Luke has in Shanghai, and then we will go to Shanghai, and then shortly after that we go back to Japan. Well, that's uh that's good for today. I'll see you next time.